Hey, this is Mobility Training Tip. I'll be covering again some more controlled articular rotations like we did with the hips previously. And again, this is basically where we're just grooving the joint, sending synovial fluid to the joint by getting increased circulation and movement and range of motion, and just gaining more active control of the joint. So we're going to focus on the shoulders today, where I've been spending a lot of focus on because I realized that they were clunky, not working too well, and I actually got used to them not working as fluidly as they should. Strength and you know strength flexibility of the entire gamut. My shoulders were pretty jacked up, but that's grappling. It tends to do that, compresses the shoulder, moves it out of the, the joint where it kind of just gets compressing and pinged up here. So I've really been working on staying lengthen here, start lengthen the ear to shoulder as much as I can, and when I'm doing this to start the movement, we've got this little bad boy right here. My rhomboids are getting really really tight and pinch my scapula, so I'm really thinking about keeping that wide. And I'm thinking about making this motion here, some arms here, and then I'm bringing my arms back. And that's going to engage right through here, and it's just helping us keep a very broad, strong chest, strong grounded, how we should hold our body. So we're here, squeezing our hand, holding the tension there, allowing the shoulder joint to relax itself, and then we're just going to circle it through its full range of motion. It seems very simple. It is, but the more you do a simple movement like this, the more little subtleties you're actually going to pick up in the movement. So you can really focus on that elbow extension as you're doing this. Really squeezing that hand to disperse the force to irradiate into the hand. He's doing that, and then notice we can do this against the wall. If you really need a lot of feedback here, the wall gives you great feedback. And I personally like to take my other hand and just kind of feel the shoulder joint as it's working because I get a little impinge right here in that the AC joint, and I just like to feel that area and feel if I'm keeping enough space in that joint. I'm going to go to lift it back here, I'm keeping a broad chest, and really focus on this, because you'll have the tendency to want to, especially if you're not against the wall, you'll want to just go wide. You just want to just lift wide here, you really want to lift straight back. So that wall gives you good feedback, lifting straight back, circling it, and moving slow for that range of motion. Maybe look at my other shoulder. It might move a little differently. It might move a little better. Both don't feel too great, but let's see. And again, I also like this motion here, holding here because it lengthens out the posterior shoulder of this shoulder. And I think if you're lengthening out on one side, it can kind of help communicate to keep space in the opposing joint too. Plug these in before or after training. Whenever you feel like you really honestly need to maybe just groove your body. These are the type of exercises you can't overdo. You know, you can overdo deadlift squats, you know, weighted, big, heavy compound movements, but the prep work, the therapeutic work, goes a long way that allows you to do the major work. Hope you guys found this helpful today. Ebook below. Hope it helps you. Big things are coming in the new year. Actually, a big announcement coming soon. I'll hold off on it for now, but some big things are in the works. So if you support the channel, it means a lot. Hope you all have a good one.